Texas fans, we need to enjoy this one. I felt, and I said in my last video, I felt Texas would win this game. I thought we had the better athletes, and we would have a little bit more cohesion on offense, and hopefully it would progress better. I didn't expect to see that team gel the way they did today. You know, and, and once again, the offense is going to be the story because it has to be because that was the glaring if, uh, you know, deficiency last season and early on against BYU. But before that, the, the defense, Manny Diaz, you see his thumbprint on, the, on, on this team. Uh, he, um, I like the way on defense, you know, he has a different mentality than Muschamp. They both like to get after the quarterback. Um, but with Muschamp, he likes to bring extra guys, and, and guys come from everywhere. Um with, with Manny Diaz, it's more of a formation blitzing, and he, and he kind of messes a lot with the defensive line and linebackers a lot more. Um, and what that helps Texas with is that we can bring pressure on the quarterback and also keep a lot of the receivers locked down outside. And you saw that, you know, three picks in the first half um, and got Kevin Prince pulled, though maybe he got himself pulled. But, you know, this really isn't about UCLA or about, you know, last season and everything like that because – this offense, and, 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 and Case McCoy has really won himself over with me. Um, I had my doubts about him. Um, just because I'd seen him in the spring games and whatnot, and, and from what I'd seen, had been impressed. But, of course, that's why I'm not coaching the team. What I saw today was a leader. Um, I really saw, and, and I want to stay away from this because it's just, you just don't really want to go there. But I saw, and leadership-wise, I saw a lot of cult today. Um, from what you heard about what he was talking to the guys on the sidelines, uh, of how he extended plays, how he was able to make plays. You know, he wasn't just a game manager. He made plays today. Um, and, of course, the running game. Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown's going to get four yards. I mean, he is going to get four yards or something. He He's constantly moving his feet. And I, I was glad to see Fozzie Whitaker get there in the game and do well. Um, it's just... Watching the game, I really, it had been a long time, an entire football season, since I'd been able to sit back and watch Texas as an entire team, and not just have to worry about, well, dang it, we're on, we're on offense now, I hope we don't get a three and out, but knowing that we're going to move the football uh, because of our scheme, because of our talent, because the guys know what they're doing, um, and it was great today. I, didn't, I really didn't expect that today. Um, and it was awesome. Now, that being said, and, and I want to say this, and I, I got to say this because uh, this is what I'm going to get in the comments. I'm going to say this right up front. No, UCLA is not a good football team. They're actually a very bad football team. Um, and they're going through their own struggles. Uh, you know, we were very similar last season. You know, we were 5-7. and seven, They were 4-8, and eight, though they whipped our tails in Austin last year. Um, coming into this year, both teams had question marks. But right now, Texas looks like we're on the up and up and looking like we can really do something – Maybe not something this year, but definitely uh, in the in the in the future. UCLA, I'm not sure what they're going to do. But what I, I say it to say this: No, that was not Texas A&M. That was not Oklahoma State. That was definitely not the Oklahoma Sooners. Um, we we still need to see more from this team to see if we can compete with those guys. But as I was talking to one of my buddies today, I said after today, I don't think we can beat the Sooners, but I sure would like to. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to that game in Dallas. Um, of course, there's Iowa State next week, and, and Iowa State's three and zero. And who knows? They beat us last year. Just you can't take anything for granted. But I really want to see now that this team is gelling. I want to see what this team looks like against a true national championship contending team. Um, and that's either and that's that's all of them. That's Sooners, the Cowboys, and the Aggies. Um, and we'll get a chance at all of them this year. We may go zero for three, and maybe we'll squeak one of them out. Um, but from what I saw today, I saw a lot of talent. A lot of heart and a lot of guts today. I mean, the guys, it was just fun watching football again. At least fun watching college football again. Watching your team play and compete. And I said that before the season started. I said, the one thing I want to see from this team, I, it's not not a whole bunch of wins, though that would be great. It's competency and it's it's wanting to fight and, and, and wanting to be competitive uh, and playing smart. So, overall, man, this was this was, of course, I mean, of the three games, this was the best. Um, and they really showed up for the Texas fans. And Mac Brown, you were seeing that young coaching staff 
Um, you're say, you're really seeing why Mac Brown is one of the best coaches uh, in college football um, and how he's able to manage this team. And, of course, Brian Harson up there calling the plays, knowing how to use this new personnel, this young, new personnel. Um, and then Manny Diaz, who's really, um, really uh, – I, I love this defense. This defense is great. Um, and, like I said, I want to see this defense again against a very good team uh, like the Sooners in two weeks or, you know, the Aggie backfield or um, – you know, Oklahoma State and Brandon Whedon. Um, like I said, I don't think I, we shouldn't be favored in any of those games, um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm interested. It's almost like a science experiment. Um, but today, guys, Longhorns fans, enjoy this. Um, no, UCLA is not a good football team, but heck, we weren't really either, but we're starting to get like that, and I'm really enjoying watching this team play. Can't wait till next week against Iowa State. Hopefully, we can get that W, and then it's off to Dallas for the shootout. We'll see you guys later. Great day for the horns. So, hook them horns, Texas fight. See you guys later.